Brian Davis, Home Improved Man. I'm going to walk you through a couple things to pay attention to when you're putting down tile. The first thing that you want to know about this setup is where to start. And the tendency when you have a room like this is to want to go into a corner and just start there and start laying it down across and work your way back until you make your way fully out of the room. And that is a bad idea. The reason being is that at some point you're going to have to cut the tile and you want to have full tile in the doorway. And what that means is if you're going to cut tile, you want to go around to the back of the room and you want to cut it there because back here I've got the vanity, over here I've got the toilet, and the cut tile is going to have much less of a visual impact back here behind the room. But when someone walks into the room, they walk through the doorway. And that's going to be the first thing they see. And then you want to show them the full tile in all of its glory. For that reason, you want to lay out the tile before you ever begin. So, putting it down. I'm going to cut these against the wall because I want the full tile in the doorway. So, this one over here in the corner is cut. And then all along this edge, all those tile are cut about an inch so that I have an inch of an overhang here at the door. The other thing that I've done is I've, the flooring that's going to go down over there is that piece of wood you see, and I've gone to check that it's going to be about the same height. If it's not close, there's not a lot you can do about it. But if it's close, as you're putting down the tile, you can make sure that it's going to become flush there. Now, when I go to lay the tile, if I start here, I'm walking my way back into the corner. So I've laid it out, but I'm actually going to start in this corner and then go down this wall and then walk my way back until I get over here to the toilet and then walk myself fully out of the room. That means I need to know how it's going to go before I start. And so a couple things that I've done. I want to make sure that these tiles stay square to this wall back here. I've already checked to make sure that the walls are square, that it's the same distance. I've gone and I've drawn a line for the first round of tile. I've put a little bit of a gap back there just to allow room for error. I could have gone right up against the wall and that would have been fine, but I'm going to lay it down on that line. The other thing that I've done is I've drawn the line right here. That is exactly 34 inches from that back wall. I've verified that it's square to this wall back here so that I know as I lay the tile, I can measure the tile down. I can check its distance to this line and know that I'm staying square to this wall back over here. I've also drawn a line along this tile, along this whole edge, so that I can make sure that the tile is laid square. Now, obviously, when you put down uh, the, the muck that you're going to be sticking the tile to, you're going to cover up the line. So you're going to work in small sections so that some of the line is still visible. Now that I've got it all laid out, when I laid it out, I used the spacers to ensure that I have the appropriate gaps and that I've cut the tile to the correct size. And that I'm good to go. The last thing you want to pay attention to is the... Uh, pattern on the tile. When I'd originally laid some of these in here on the first row, I had uh, some of them turned and realizing that the tile, the pattern works best when they are all lined up, not when they're flipped. So as you lay the tile, Make sure that you're aware of the pattern and that you maintain the pattern so that it doesn't kill the OCD person when they walk in and see one tile out of place. I hope that was helpful and I hope you enjoy your next tile project.